In this video, we are going to discuss about binary parallel adder. Till now, we have seen full adder, full subtractor, half adder, half subtractor, which will be performing the operation on bits, binary bits. Binary parallel adder is nothing but which performs addition on binary numbers. Binary number is nothing but group of bits. So here we are considering two binary numbers x3, x2, x1, x0, y3, y2, y1, y0. We are going to perform addition on these two numbers. So how we are going to perform and what do we require to perform this addition that we are going to see now. So first input carry we are considering as 0. So when we give 0, x0, y0 to full adder, we are going to get outputs as C1 and S0 and C1 is being propagated to next stage. Then the next full adder will be getting the inputs as C1, X1, Y1, C2, S1 will be the outputs. Similarly, we are going to complete the operation on two numbers and we are going to get the 5 bit output, output carry as C4 and sum as S3, S2, S1 and S0. So let us represent this using the full adders representation. So here we can see how it is uh, constructed binary parallel adder. So input carry input is 0, we are getting C1 and S0 as outputs and then C1 is being propagated and then C2 S1 is generated C3 S2 and then finally C4 S3. When we represent this as a block diagram, we will get like this. So the total inputs of binary adder are 9 including input carry and uh, four, 2 4 bit binary numbers and 5 outputs S3, S2, S1 and S0 4 bit sum and C4 that is output carry. Now if you see here we are getting the delay while you are generating the result of your binary parallel adder. You can observe that the outputs of the binary parallel adder are not generated at the same time. There is some delay in generating these particular outputs. So these particular uh, outputs in order to make to be generated in a same time or we can say that the delay to be reduced can be done by making the full adder inputs to be independent of the previous carry. So if you see uh, the delay is occurred just because of this carry propagation actually. So once we make these all full adders independent of each other then we can say that outputs can be generated at the same time. So this can be done using look ahead carry generator. So how we are going to uh, generate this carry look ahead adder. So if you see this is the circuit diagram for a full adder using two half adders. So we say that inputs we are considering as AI, BI and CI outputs SI and CI plus 1. So I will represent middle like the first half adder outputs as PI and GI. We say this as a carry propagate and this as carry generate. So PI is nothing but now PAI XOR BI and GI is AI BI. And similarly we write expressions for SI and CI plus 1 also. SI becomes PI XOR CI and CI plus 1 is PI CI plus GI. Now let us generate the carries and make them independent of each other. So CI plus 1 we can see that it is PI CI plus GI. Now substitute I equal to 0 to obtain C1. So C1 will become P0, C0 plus G0 and we know C0 is the input carry and P0 and G0 are in terms of A and Bs. So this can be generated at the first stage itself. Substitute I equal to 1 to obtain C2 now. So if you see C2 is P1, C1 plus G1. Now if you, see, if you use this expression to construct the circuit, then only after C1 is generated, C2 can be generated. Because P1 and G1 can be generated 
by uh, by using a and b's which are the inputs directly given by the user but c1 should be generated by the output of the previous full adder so if we remove this c1 then we will be able to make this c2 independent of this c1 so we will substitute this uh, previous expression of c1 in this expression so substituting c1 in c2 we get c2 equal to p1 p0 c0 plus g0 and plus g1 so if you see now a p1 p0 c0 g0 and g1 all, all are inputs given by the user only so c2 can be generated at the time when c1 is generated itself similarly substitute i equal to 2 to obtain c3 and uh, substitute c2 in c3 and make independent of others similarly c4 will be done now making use of these c1 c2 c3 c4 if we are drawing the circuit that is nothing but what we say as carry look ahead adder the circuit is shown like this and if we incorporate that carry look ahead adder inside the binary parallel adder we'll get the circuit in this form c0 is given initially p's and g's are in terms of a as a's and b's so p3 and g3 p2 g2 p1 g1 p0 g0 we have seen how the expressions are for p's and g's and similarly we are going with the xor and and gates and uh, c4 are c4 c3 c2 c1 are the outputs of carry look ahead adder and using these we can generate s0 s1 s2 s3 and c4 at the same time so the delay is completely reduced in the in the binary parallel adder now the same circuit the binary parallel adder can, we can convert to perform binary parallel subtraction so we are using two's complement uh, operation to perform this so in this case x minus y can be represented as x plus y bar plus 1 so the circuit diagram will be converted like this so instead of giving directly y to the binary adder we are putting not gate which becomes y bar and this one makes this one so x plus y bar plus 1 becomes binary parallel subtraction totally so if you want to make a single circuit to behave as both binary parallel adder and subtractor we are supposed to use a mode control bit so m is nothing but the control signal we say we make the circuit to behave as binary parallel adder when m equal to 0 and we'll make the circuit to behave as binary parallel subtractor when m equal to 1 so if you see m equal to 0 i am writing the expression as f is equal to x plus y plus 0 and m equal to 1 f equal to x minus y equal to x plus y bar plus 1 so what happens here like x is the first input for uh, binary parallel adder second input should be y when it is addition uh, and it is it should be y bar when it is subtraction and input carry should be 0 in the case of addition and input carry should be 1 in the case of subtraction so if you see these operations we are making use of y x or 0 is y y x or 1 equal to y bar and so what happens if you say like m equal to 0 here input carry is 0 as we want and here one of the x or input will become 0 so y x or 0 is y outputs of x or gate will become y and x is given here so x plus y will be performed which is nothing but binary parallel addition now if i say m equal to 1 c in that is input carry is 1 as we want and y x or 1 becomes y complement so the output of the x or gates will become y complement and this is x so x plus y complement plus 1 is nothing but x minus y that is binary parallel subtraction till now we have seen uh, binary parallel adder and subtractor using these circuits we can easily design some code converters so first example what we are seeing is designing bcd to xs3 code converter using binary parallel adder so first 
to get the output x is 3 from bcd input we all know that just add 3 to bcd so here add 3 to bcd to obtain x is 3 this is a block diagram for binary parallel adder just substitute x with bcd and y with 3 and sum will be x is 3 so here uh, the procedure goes like this okay it's very simple to design bct to xs3 code converter using binary parallel adder and then reverse design of xs3 to bcd code converter using binary parallel adder subtract 3 from xs3 to obtain bcd so add 2's complement of 3 to xs3 both are same subtracting positive 3 from xs3 or adding 2's complement of 3 means adding minus 3 to xs3 to obtain bcd so here it goes the comp, uh, MSI of binary parallel adder. So X is 3, 12 and 1. Now we get BCD. The other way also is there. In here instead of giving 12 and 1 here separately, I can make 13 here as the input of Y and C is 0. So both the ways it is possible to make uh, X is 3 to BCD code converter.